Welcome to the Alpha Direct Butter Cook-Off. My name is Joan, your official host. And a quick thank you to our main sponsors, Butter University and Alpha Direct. And our co-sponsors, Gabs FM, MediaFlix, The Voice and Orange Botswana. This week, we're turning up the heat and cooking an Indian cuisine. And on my right is Team 3, Kifilwe and Indiwa. And on my left is Team 4, Michelle and Peño. Hello, foodies. My name is Kifilwe and I am here with my partner in the kitchen, Indiwa. Today, we'll be cooking for you Indian-inspired cuisine. On the menu, we have prawn curry, um, chicken tikka masala, naan bread, and rice. And the key ingredients are butter, ghee, um, yogurt, and spices. You know, when we talk about Indian food, we're talking flavor, we're talking different spices, and we're bringing the heat to you. Hi, I am Michelle, and this is my partner, Peño. Today we are making an Indian-inspired cuisine for you guys, and it is going to be packed with flavor, it's going to be bold, it's going to be fiery. On the menu, we've got curry chickpeas and stuffed naan. And to top it off, we're going to be having the mugla chicken curry and the crisp rice. You have one hour to cook, your time, Starts now. What are you frying? Chicken for my chicken tikka masala. Right? Yes. And uh, what did you marinate with? I marinated it with yogurt, mm -hmm. um, garam masala, cumin, and what else? A turmeric and... Excellent. Meat. That's good. Okay. Alright. Good. Hi. So what are you so over here, this is the place for our chickpea curry. It's a very simple dish. Um, you know, Indian food is a lot of flavor, um, but this doesn't take too long. You can actually get it ready very quick. And then over there is like a mushy going for our crispy rice. Smells flavor. That's great. That's great. All the best. Thank you. And your judges for today is Prakesh, Kenneth, and Chef Tuto. If you remember, they are only tasting the food and sharing their reviews. However, you, the foodie, gets to decide who wins. So make sure to follow the Foodies Botswana page and cast your vote on the poll. Good luck, guys. Good evening, ladies. Uh, what have you made for us today? We've prepared for you um, fried rice, um, chicken tikka masala, prawn curry, and flatbread, as well as chickpea curry. Fantastic, thank you very much. Softer? 
yes, sir. Made with love. Oh. So let's see what we have here. Mm. Okay. Mm. Let me go for the rice, fried rice, huh? Not the fried rice on the streets, but the fried rice from India. Wow, this is beautiful. Well done. The sauce, uh, the juice is still there. The rice is not mushy, still fluffy, and I can have it. You can keep it for tomorrow and use it again. This is lovely. The chicken just needed a bit of, of zing. Put, put a bit of more spice, then um, lemon on the top. But I think that's why you had the lemon on the side. But this is beautiful. Well done. Thank you. Presentation, fantastic. The roti is nice and crispy on the outside, flaky and soft on the inside. So fantastic job with that one. Your fried rice, I love it. It's nice and crispy. All the, the grains are separate and individual. Your tikka masala is full of flavor. Your honey glazed carrots, it's soft and tender, not too soft. So I really, really appreciate this dish. Well done. Thank you very much. Thank you. Chef Kifilri, let's Sorry. go for your taste. All right. So this is chicken tikka masala. Mm. It's tender and succulent, juicy. And I can see the, all the flavors infused in it, very Thank nicely you. marinated. Well done. Thank you. And uh, let me test the prawns. Well cooked, perfectly. Well balanced. Very well done. For me, salt is a little less, but it's fine. When it goes with the curry, it, it balances very well. Thank you. Nicely done. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you. Chef Michelle, welcome. Thank you so much for having us. So what you made for us today? Today we have made for you guys uh, a Persian crispy rice. Mm -hmm. We've got chickpea curry and mughlai chicken and stuffed naan. And to wash down we have some chai tea for you guys. That's some acha. Mm -hmm some yogurt just to cool down. You know, I've seen Indians uh, using their hands. Today I'm gonna do that and really taste the flavor of India, you know, and see what you got here. Mm. Oh, I can hear the crisp. Mm. Mm -hmm. That sound, wow, that is beautiful. Mm. 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 Mm, the onion and the bread, it goes very well. Let me try the cucumber. What does it taste like? It's smooth, it's tasty. The, the sweetness actually balances the whole thing. This is lovely. Thank you, Chef. Well done, this is lovely. Thank you very much. This looks straight out of an Indian restaurant. I love the, the texture on this rice. I mean, I've, I've never had that before, but I love the way it's got, you know, the levels of texture. I love what you did with that. Thank you. The flavors in your chickpeas and your chicken is really coming through. I really love that. I love what you've done with this, um, with this naan. I wish it was a bit more crispier though, but very interesting having it uh, stuffed with the feta and stuff really comes out. Um, so all in all, I love your dish. Thank you very, very much. Thank you so much. Chef Michel. Yes, sir. Now I'm going to taste your Mughalai dish. Please enjoy. And I'm going enjoy. to use my hand. Hmm. It's well cooked, perfectly balanced. So what is the cream base you have used in this? 
we use some coconut milk. Mm. Um, see, typically for the Mughalai dish, uh, you can use almond or cashew paste. That's a traditional way of Mughalai dish, actually. Okay, we did add some cashew nut paste, though. Excellent. Yeah. But it, it is also giving a mild taste effect. Very good. Let me taste your naan. Thank you. It's quite soft. Go with the chickpeas. Mm. So, uh, it's quite soft, fluffy. Did you use uh, yeast or which? what, what did you use? Um, we actually did a two ingredient naan, which yeah. is yogurt and flour. Oh, and then some great. baking powder, but oh, you it's, used the baking it's, it's, powder. It's a bit of a kitchen hack. All right, okay. <laughs> so normally for uh, naan, if you want it to be uh, fluffy, you yes. know, uh, you use a uh, yeast, not yes, the instant yes. one. Yes. What you do is uh, you uh, add the warm water and add a little bit of sugar. This is mm -hmm. just the tip mm -hmm. I'm giving, and then you mix it with the dough and knead it, so and it becomes it very yes. fluffy and very soft to eat it. You know, excellent. And let me taste the rice. Okay, this is, uh, what, what rice is this actually? Crispy rice. Crispy rice. It, it's basmati, right? Yes, it's basmati. Mm. It's really crispy. Mm -hmm. And um, it's well cooked. And uh, good that basmati rice is not broken. Because it's not to be broken actually. Definitely. You know? um, and it is also not sticky, which is very good actually. Uh, to add up an additional tip, you know, what you can do is you can add up a spoon of ghee, you know, which is a clarified butter, so that it won't stick and it should not be broken. Well done, well presented, beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. A quick word from the Buddha University representative, Olivia. Once again, um, we are hosting the Alpha Direct Butu Cook-Off. And I would like to share with you that the Faculty of Hospitality and Sustainable Tourism offers a BSc Honours in Hospitality Management. Under this program, that is where we have food and beverages uh, courses, kitchen operations and bar operations. So far, we are being hosted by the labs that are state of the art. We have the training kitchen, which is where our participants have been cooking for our competition. And we are also situated within our restaurant where our judging takes place. My experience today was amazing. It was nerves were all over, um, but overall it was thrilling to experience an experiment with the ingredients. It was so much fun. My experience today was absolutely amazing. I've, I think I've always wanted to take part in something like this. My experience was great. I was um, paired with a great partner, so I really enjoyed it. Um, my very first time in the kitchen and in such a competition, so I loved it. Uh, challenges, challenges would be heat control. The stuff's where you're out of this world. I had underestimated time, so I had to squeeze in this and that here and there to make up for lost time. I would have to agree with him. The stoves are absolutely insane. They're hot. <laughs> Go to like low is hot. So that was a bit of a challenge, but I think we managed to, to cook quite well. When I was making the naan bread, um, it was a bit too wet and that made me nervous. I thought that you know I would have to toss everything away and make a uh, new um, dough. Working with Michelle is <laughs> insane because she wants you to do the things like do this. You have to do this. She's, she's insane. Working with Gifilo was great. I mean, she was very calm in the kitchen. Um, she didn't shout or anything, she instructed me. So we're great partners and yeah, we're gonna do good moving forward from here. I thought our dish was amazing. Um, everything came out um, as it was supposed to. I think one of the main concerns was that rice and it was really crispy. So all in all, I'm happy with our dish. The dish was amazing, honestly. Without a doubt, that was the best dish of the day in my opinion. We brought in the flavors, we brought in the different components that Indian cuisine consists of, and listen, I can't complain. And that's all from us today. Thank you so much to our sponsors. Alpha Direct, Gabs FM, Media Fix, The Voice, 
Orange Botswana, Office Link, and Mr. Veg.